Welcome to the first session. This is great. Um, super professional. But here we are. In the world of A Song of Ice and Fire. Um, by us. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So there you go. We built the house. There's our shield, right there. And that's the people of it. Thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. So back to Malachi's question. Has yes. anyone changed? Has anyone made any changes or anything they would like to express before this we all got I have not, God. Um, I have since the introduction video. Alaric's now massive, which is why his token's larger. But that's about it. He now wields a huge greatsword in one hand, which is epic. So, um, yeah, that will come into effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a, that's a throwback that nobody will get. <laughs> oh, I do. Shots fired. Um, I don't know. I changed some stuff around with Desm. Nothing particular. I went through all the skills and added up and removed some stuff to get everything checked out. Uh, nothing major has changed about him. Um, yeah, he's he's still the diplomatic. Dude, he's a little bit less deceitful, I think. I need to double check my my uh, my character sheet. Yes, he's a little less deceitful. Yeah. So, uh, so other than that, anything anything that has changed? No. Completely, completely identical. Good. Wonderful. Uh, we do have a map of respite now. Uh, it is not decorated because I like I was going to do that. Um, but you can you can look at it and go there and, and and you know do whatever you want with it. Well, we can't yet. Always decorate it later, but uh, it's here if we need it. Don't think you really need to be looking at it right now. I'll just begin claiming rooms and whatnot, and not listen to what I have to say. <laughs> All right then. Um, yeah. So uh, our chronicle begins as as many do. On a bit of a rainy day, it is, you know, late dinner time. You're probably all gathered in the great feasting hall for your general supper. It's too big for all of you, but, you know, there's nothing like being in a big castle room, hearing faint pieces of rain outside while eating. Well, today it is a sort of... Lukewarm beef stew with hot onions and a uh, thin, very thin ale for the children. Maester Cole isn't here yet. Generally, there's not a lot of sound as it happens. A bit of crackling fire in the fireplace. It's not really cold in here, but it's not really very warm either. The rain sort of come came as a surprise. It doesn't rain very often here, and... Uh, no one's usually ready for a cold streak, so to speak. Perhaps it is the onset of an early winter. But surely you would have been told, unless someone shut down the bird again. Last winter, <laughs> damn it! We didn't have someone shut down the bird and we couldn't see it. <laughs> oh, who did it? <laughs> it was Bree, fucking wasn't it? God oh. damn it. <laughs> Wait, no. It's released from the Maces of Sister, and who's in that direction from us? House Peak. Oh, you fucking motherfucking peak. That's, that's true. Peak did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Caledon bird. <laughs> 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 <Yes>. <laughs> the meal goes. How, how is everyone sort of seated? I don't know. Do we have a... I don't know. Can we, do let's, we have you, a, let's use we, this for table. We have a high okay. table, technically. <laughs> yeah, we do have a high table. So, do we uh, have a picture for the, of the castle? Like the, the one... Do you have that one? Yes, one I, will, I, will, I will make hmm. that... To you. Maybe we maybe we stage on that one. Yeah. I don't know if we it might take a little map. time to load though, because it's big. I don't know if we have a table on the high table map. I, I, I don't know. It sounds dangerous for the reasons that Manakai stated earlier of revealing a castle that it's like a fucking land grab. <laughs> no, it's more like yeah, it's the it's the picture of the castle that we like base the drawings off. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that. I'm sure. Oh, we got one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, courtesy of our lovely. Um, it's only a model, lovely French sheep. <laughs> 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 
All right. Well, well, old people, I'm sure you get to choose priority seating on how you want to sit around the table. Old people, you yes. why no, I that, oughta. That, that, that's the privilege <laughs> of, of being old, right? You get to sit down. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, generally do it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, traditionally it'd be done by you know import, importance of rank in the house to if you're on the high table or not. The high but... chair is is empty as usual. Uh, Lord Aaron usually is not able to go here to have supper with the rest of the family. I suppose I'd be on the high table next. Cool. Usually would... not here either because you... he's uh, helping him. Yeah, I'd say probably Lannis would, in uh, in absence of his father, would be at the head of the table. Mm, I'd be at the high table. I don't think I'd take my father's seat, though. <laughs> a bit presumptuous. A bit presumptuous. Okay, all right, yeah, you'd be next I would be to sitting it. beside my father's seat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't to the other side. <laughs> yeah, and doesn't to the other side. Yeah. You're in Halen's seat. There we go. That's presumptuous. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have That's a seat That's how anymore. the first session we started an argument at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my seat. And let's just fight and then everyone dies because... Yeah. I yeah I I, I I imagine I would be sitting across from from Linus if he's like at the table here. He's like at the at, at the right of the high table. seat. Okay. With this, like, say, being like the head of the table. Uh, generally, the high seat is at the middle. Yeah, it's okay. at the middle of the top. Right. Here, looking out over the room down here. Mm -hmm. Right. I forget some dining customs that have the big people. This sitting is the high seat. Does the uh, does the weaponsmith sit at the high table? Is he allowed to? Well, he, I suppose no, that's not I mean, a, He usually probably. would eat at home with his family. It if is that's what like, that's what he does. Okay. Is some, it is kind of not quite an honor to sit at the higher table. Uh, like, as but, far as you know, is concerned, he's welcome at it. You know, maybe not at like is. official functions, but you know. Yeah. So, Albert, get out of the way. <laughs> but normally, it would only be. <laughs> nobles that sit at you, the highest table. Do uh do people sit at like the uh the ends then? Uh, uh they can, yeah. Okay. The thing well, is this is uh, the thing is the high the... table is too big for you. It's more where you want to sit right now. It's okay. not really formal. It's just an right, average good. day, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Also good. like the, the, the custom <laughs> generally is that we sit on like on a parade almost. We are looking out over the uh over yeah. the, the big the there would be no ones. one. There here. are yes. basically many small so, tables down here yeah. where all the soldiers sit, and that's probably where. All right. <laughs> well, uh, well, the soldiers Bree eat will, uh... in the barracks. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah, yeah. All the other people. Yeah. 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 As Bree usually does, as Bree usually does, she will uh, pity anyone who sits next to uh, Sir Cousin because of the amount of fucking arm room that he needs. <laughs> that's why there's a nice gap sure. here. <laughs> you know, maybe you should like, just, maybe you should just, just sit over don't, here. Don't so slap my wife, because <laughs> so help me the seven. He's <laughs> so a bit clumsy me. sometimes. And you're, you're ever, ever and over here, ever <laughs> More than not. Ever and go over there, and uh, Alara can have uh, oh, all of this God. room. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a safe stop. Oh, my mouth is stuck. He yeah. just sits down and like wiggles his elbows out to the sides. <laughs> I need Good this room. much wingspan to you guys. <laughs> the shower creaks dangerously. <laughs> he looks at it with, like wide eyed, like, is it gonna break? Is it gonna break? Is it gonna break? No, alright, we're good. We're good. Alright. My castle forge stool here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have cut through this castle forge as well? Mm. He doesn't need Castle Forge cutlery, just larger ones. Oh. Yeah. So, uh. Get, off the, get, off, get the bird off the table. Does, uh, does Nima eat in the barracks then? Or. She probably has her own quarters as well. Probably, yeah. I mean, she'd be welcome to eat in the Great Hall. With, with the common soldiers or with, uh. With by herself. Uh, let's see if the common soldiers hear what they have to say about these suckers. Sure, she's not generally a part of them. They're very much an in 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 group, brother band of brothers, so to speak. Mm. But but she's certainly. I mean, she can she can eat there. Does is, has she been doing that since she came here? Uh, she's been trying to. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, she's not right here. But not there. Bye. <laughs> Um, well, on an average day, dinner conversation probably is uh, maybe somewhat sparse. Uh, 
food is not fantastic right now, and, well, in case there's a winter, it's good to begin saving things up. Mr. Cole does, however, arrive today. Look, he's over, like, over here serving. Uh, going down from the, the stairs. I think they're over here somewhere. Uh, looking looking tired as usual. She gives you all a, uh, a nod while eating. Comes to just take a chair, as she usually does. He doesn't really sit in a particular place. It's mostly, well, probably because he enjoys the company. Although it can be hard to tell with him. He is, well, late, very late for really eating. Uh, but in his hands, he is carrying a few small rolls of paper. You can see that there's sort of red seals on them, as always, unbroken. He, as he sits down, lets them roll onto the table. Looks like they're the kinds carried by ravens, and he confirms it. There was a bird in the rain. Just, uh, carried three letters, not just one. I'm not sure where from. Push them across the table for them to lay there until well, someone more responsible than his position uh, will take them. Well, does them frown slightly. Oh. Three letters. That is somewhat unusual. It looks at the. Is there any seal on them? There is. Uh, there certainly certainly are seals on them. One is an iron gate with two long chains on it. Another one is uh, in blue wax with a, a black sort of uh, sort of stripe in the middle. And a third one. You're not really sure. It looks like some something with a ship and a sword. Could look like the Kaladin sword. Mm -hmm. Do we recognize okay. any of these? Uh, well, that would be a status heraldry check. You know, might as well start it off, right? Exactly. Status heraldry. Sure. Nope. Oh! That was a fumble. Actually, I'm just let's see here. Let's see if this dice roller. Woo! Yeah. Brienne can't even reach her body over the table. She tries. She's <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 yeah, yes, maybe a little higher chair. If she's willing to take one. Well, certainly. Uh, you all, even with Lena's uh, attempt, know that the Iron Gate is the uh, the symbol of House Wirenwood, a Dornish house known as the Gateway to Dorn, uh, who are the end of the Bone Way and hold that title because they are really damn good at stopping people from coming through if they don't want you to. Another one. Well, it's clearly the, well, a slightly mushed uh, sort of sigil of House Trant of Gallows Grey, a uh, lord recently mostly known for being very strange, uh, not very polite, and for giving away, or having to give away, some would say, some of his land to construct Summer Hall, the pleasure summer palace of the Targaryen king. So that he could be closer to dawn and appear as more vulnerable. The last, only Desim would really know. He has received uh, a few of these letters, very rare before, and uh, he recognizes it as the symbol that is on the ship of his uh, brother hmm. in Bravos. Does some frowns at these letters. He moves them a little bit to the side, you know. Keeps keeps uh, finishing up his plate, um, and once that is done, he will push the plate away and uh, look over the letter. And he will start with the one from his brother, breaking the seal and reading through it. All right. 
the letter is uh, fairly lengthy uh, for, for, for bird carried letters to be, but then again, you probably don't pay someone to sail across the narrow sea to bring it to a place that has ravens and then send it from pal for, for sort of castle to castle with them until you find someone who's going here anyway to carry it with them uh, without having something to say. Uh, the letter is addressed to Lord Aaron Caladan, Lord of Respite. It says, uh, Black wings carry dark words, and I admit that this letter is going to be no different. I am dying, my brother. An ailment I encountered during my trip to the Summer Isles has become worse, and I do not believe that I will live for much longer. In fact, when you read this, I will likely be dead. I have written my will, and my contacts at the Iron Bank has promised me that it will be carried out. I wish for Catalin and Nalia to be wed to men of noble birth and stature. To the men who wed them, for I know they are not themselves of high birth, I promise each four hundred dragons. Half of the gold will be given to him, the other half to her. I hope, my brother, that you will respect and honor my memory with this last request. In addition to this, I have willed all my fortune to the head or current heir of House Caladan, who can bring with him three of noble birth to swear on his name, in addition to two of noble birth who will swear on the weddings of my daughters. When these conditions are met, a thousand dragons will be yours to do with as you please. The Iron Bank will expect this letter to be brought with you there. Ask from, from Merinio and show him the letter. Ernest Caladan. As you completely fold out the letter, you see that it seems to have been ended there. It's supposedly ended there with his signature. But a bit further down, there are a few stains on it. And with the most smudgy handwriting, it has been added to. I wished so to return, brother. I, I dared not. I am not as old as many, and yet my life is one full of regret. I wished to go, at least go this time bravely to my end, but I do not wish to die. I am still afraid. I was afraid then, I am afraid now. In my dreams he never died. Well, you see mounting concern on Desmond's face as he sort of reads through it. And then he sort of puts it down next to his plate, tapping his finger on it a little bit. Seemingly lost in thought. Looks over to two of the others. And, uh, and sighs and says, um, it uh, seems uh, that my brother and your uncle Ornus is dying, if not dead already. Okay, now let the, let the paper. Hmm, what a shame. He passes the, uh, the paper to, uh, to Kvaler, who picks it up in his beak and sort of hops it over to Lanus. Lanus will take it and look it over. Browning. Perhaps the last time uh, Desim sort of saw him was the night that he ran. Yeah, fled. certainly heard from him before, especially when uh, when Nima showed up and things like that. But yeah, he has a he has a mm, you know a a, a sad <laughs> sad look in his eyes uh, as he sort of leans back and contemplates the the turn of events. Looks to the other, uh, the other letters, and with some hesitation, uh, <laughs> picks <laughs> picks up the one from. Uh, let's see, Lord Trant. Mm -hmm. It is a fairly short one. It begins with uh, Lord Aaron Caladan, Lord of Respite. His lordship of Gallows Grey wills it that his sons to be allowed to visit respite in an errand of courtly interest. 
His Lordship has granted them his blessing in this venture and wishes that your Lordship will receive them with all courtesy. Maester Ross of Gallows Grey. It's mm. a simple one. What do we know about the f the family trend? Uh, what particularly are you are you concerned? Are we on good terms with them? Well, uh, you could certainly do a knowledge politics. Knowledge. To see if you know anything particular about it. <laughs> what about our lovely? Maester, <laughs> does he know? <laughs> you can of course always ask your maester instead of uh, instead of fooling yourself. Yeah. Or um, if that is not enough, Justin will turn to Maester Collins and says, uh, "Maester, would you please refresh my memory as to regards of House Trent?" Uh, that will be enough for the most part. Um, well. Uh, he was when Niels confirmed this and then say that Lord Trent has uh, is called Bonitha Trent and he uh, has a bit of a strange reputation. He very rarely, if ever, leaves Gallows Grey. He's never really led a battle. He is unknown if he even trains for them. He also has uh, no naturally well no 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 legitimate sons and no spouse, even though he is uh, rather old. He has, however, uh, quite a few bastard sons, some of which, well, it has been said, have been legitimized by the king, although it was no big affair, meaning that they can inherit Gallows Green and the Trent name. He, uh, may still, of course, laugh it a little bit off, but, uh, but he is, it is, it is said by people that he does a lot of sorcery and that those who defy him generally have unfortunate ends. Of course, that is all superstition and just fear for some a man of uh, scholarly talent. He spends his fortunes not on glory or greatness, but on learning and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. He uh, he also keeps falcons, great falcons. Oh, a fellow bird lover. <laughs> Uh, what do we know? Um, did he name the uh, the bastard to come to visit? Uh, no, it's not mm. say who which ones of the bastards will come visit. How, How many? Three? There are Edgar, there are Edric, and there are Oswald. Mm -hmm. And how many did he say what, uh, he wanted to come? One, just one. Mm. His sons. Oh, sons. Oh, sons. oh okay. So not all of them. Right? If there's that's two or three. All right. Okay. Well. Do Perfect. what do we know of these uh, of these bastard sons? Then are they good guys or uh, or bad guys? Basically, they are generally known to be traveling together. Uh, the youngest one, um, well, most would say that he's a bit of an unfortunate case. Yeah, uh, isn't really as strong as the others. The two first, uh, Edric and, and Edgar, are rather rather strong. Um, they're not knights. They were never squires either. Um, Probably because they were baseborn. It's not really something you would generally let them do. Um, but they they are known to travel all over the stormlands, the reach, and and even to the to the uh, royal city to deliver whatever messages Lord Trent might wish to send. Very well traveled, mm -hmm. and generally considered to be polite. Of right. course, they are baseborn, so uh, well, well, bad blood. Are they flowers it's or storms? Uh, they would be storm. Mm. All right, sure. Going to put that letter in. <laughs> and also to uh, to Crawler, who picks it up and hops it over to Lanus. Mm -hmm. Air pretender can can read and see what's coming up. Mm -hmm. And then he will, with the greatest of trepidations, pick up the one from Dorn. Yes. yes. Uh, this letter, as he opens it, is written in a very flowing, sort of hard-to-read script. It is clearly th clear that whoever wrote this has a very good amount of training using a quill, and it looks very fancy. Mm. Lords and ladies of the prestigious House Caladan, it reads. I will keep this message brief, 
and my words few, for there are many archers in the woods, and many who would try to learn of our purposes. I, the Lord Farian of Wyanwood, request your presence at Wyanwood for an ex exclusive snake hunt. The pests have bitten many they should not, and I believe we would find enjoyment in culling their numbers together. Our peoples have little love lost on one another, but perhaps from one shadow to another, our family, families can work for a fellow purpose. Long live the peaceful king and his little prince. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, Snake the, frown, hunt. The, huh. the frown that was evident before is now like <laughs> all of Desim's face as he looks down at this. Well, Lorik would question what's, no, what's the matter, cousin. It seems, uh, it seems like this is an invitation from the um, <clears throat> Lord Farian Ironwood of Dawn. He invites us very courteously on a, to a snake hunt. Alaric grimaces. Bree drops her spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Does some shoots her an eye, and then uh, looks uh, looks over to. Uh, uh, to, to the others at the table, and then his size puts the letters down. Uh, all right, what do I know of Ironwood? Of Ironwood? Well, um, going off the, the result you had earlier, um, you know that Ironwood is, as I said, the gatehouse to Dorne. Um, they're also known for, uh, well, being... Uh, they have always been Martel, very Martell-friendly. Very many Martells have married into their house and such, and they have uh, they have they've never really spoken out against the Martells. They're known to be very, very quiet uh, house. Beyond that, it of course makes it a little more difficult because, well, you don't get a lot of news from Dawn, and it is strange that they would send a letter such as this to you of all yeah. people. Yeah. It seems the exclusive meaning that there's not going to be a lot of other people there. I mean, we are recently. Uh, you know that uh, the uh, the old lord uh, wife uh, died. She was a lady Blackmont, and uh, she actually fought in the wars to defend Dawn from uh, from the invading army of uh, of the Iron Iron Kingdom. You call that the Iron Throne. He has been recently widowed. He has sons, however, uh, strong sons. You don't really know that much about Dornish politics, though. And if you ask Mister Cole, he will shake his head and say that he has not been to Dawn much, and their ways are strange. Yes. He does, however, know that hunting snakes is something that that can be done there. It's a, considered a very prestigious thing to to get a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't look down at this. Thinking. How well. Wynwood has been known to sometimes host feasts where they invite uh, invite the noble houses of the of the marshes to come and. Share bread for a, a solemn purpose. It's never really been stated why exactly, but many go there in the hopes that they can make bonds with houses uh, to the south, as that would greatly improve profits and perhaps trade and other things. Uh, perhaps just to scope out others or to not appear cowardly. Mm -hmm. Reasons differ. Right. Spicy food. Mm, yes. Well... That's interesting. Hmm. Have we had any like incursions in the like last decade or so from House Ironwood, or has it only been like Will and uh, like those closer to the border? Well, we haven't had any skirmishes in the last like ten years. It's been before that, well, because yes, of the marriage. Why is it only be raiders? 
Yeah, it'd just be raiders. It wouldn't be a house, per se. Or not at least an official. So... There you have the letter without any formatting, sadly. Uh, but it's snake hunt. Mm. Well, it seems obvious to me that he wants to meet. Yeah. Uh, preferably secretly. Um, I can't imagine what he would want to discuss. He's a very so. long way away. He is a very long way away. He is so really it's like a month away. He's deep into Dornish territory. Hmm. hmm. Don't like it. No. Can't say that I do. But. <sighs> does does some looks to uh, to uh, to Maester Call and basically asks him, uh, Maester, would you? Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, Convene the 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 small council on this <laughs> in a few hours. Looks at uh, look as, uh, looks at Agatha. Uh, darling, would you be so kind to prepare the chamber for us? She will frown slightly as the dinner has not really ended, but she will she will nod and understandingly uh, go to do so, waving a hand at Lucas for him to come and help prepare the chamber. Uh, Dustin gets up, you know, and grabs his cane. Take off to do that. Says, uh, I will go and talk to Nima about this. She deserves to know. She was closest to Ornus after all. He takes a deep sigh and starts uh, moving, uh, you know, moving out of the, uh, of, the, of the of the place towards the towards the courtyard and the barracks. Caller flying after. Watches her uncle walk away and then looks straight at Ser Cousin. <laughs> Laric looks up from his bow as he's getting the last bits. Yeah. Did uh did uh did Desim leave the, the notes on the table or did he take those with him whenever he walked away? Like I know he like he, passed them over to like Dark's character. He, two of them, he uh he would have uh, have uh, picked he, up he the uh, the ones so Alaric can read them. Uh, Alaric can't read. He can't read yet. Uh, he um, he would have indicated to Linus that he would like Master Master Call to like pick, like keep them for him. Sure, he he keeps an archive. Hmm. See, so, um, let's see here. In that case, uh, if that's been left there, a uh, Bree, uh, yeah, yes, Bree will look still looking at Sir Cousin. Say, pass me the third one he read, please, Sir Cousin. Um. Alaric looks at the scrolls, kind of recognizes the Dornish flag and gives it over. <laughs> Bree like extends her hand to catch it. <laughs> He's the whole sigh slightly as he uh, prepares to get up, looking at uh, Bree. He looks, uh, he looks sort of, sort of, uh, you know, at one of the door guards down like here, and. Uh, the guard seems tired, and then Mr. Uh, Cobble nods here. Yeah. In uh, an hour or so, so far, so, uh, take his leave. Perhaps to get leeches. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> leeches. Three will, uh, that's that's we'll going to be my haunted, we'll, I swear to God. <laughs> we'll take the note and like fold it out and just start reading all of the words herself. That's all I want to do for now. Mm -hmm. Alaric will finish his food and uh, and uh, kind right, of lean back in his chair. Will uh, look to you and and uh, ask. Uh, so I I have I have cousins, like more. Alaric nods and says, uh, "Yeah, I think these would be." Uh, Kind of strokes his beard a bit. Second remove. Uh, oh. Third cousins. There we go. Um, over in Essos. 
you know, uh, it's, I see. That would be, I think uh, I heard something about that. I didn't know that there were children there. Well, didn't say when they would arrive. But Larik looks over to Lanus. Shake, shakes, shakes his head as he finishes some of the soup. There was no date given. Assumably soon, but... It's quite a long trip. Alaric nods. Then again, probably took a long time for the letters to get here. Looks down at his food. A lot longer to travel. By boat. And by horse. Yeah, looks to his father. And, uh, seems like he wants to say something, but keeps it in and continues eating. Alaric quirks an eye. Says, uh... You can speak. I have no qualms. No, it was it was really nothing. I just it says something about marriage and says, well, it's it's not uncommon for such things to involve you know more more than just like <laughs> we've been I we've been looking for someone I could squire for and. As far as I understand, Trent doesn't have any knights, not even in their household. At large, not. Yes. Perhaps, perhaps we could find someone better. That's the plan. We uh, perhaps when we have some spare time, we can go to Icon. Find you a good, uh, good knight. Not slowly. Goes back to his food, clearly thinking. Speaking of squires, I need to find one myself, but probably not one of the Trant boys. He just doesn't say much to you. He usually talks to some of the younger guardsmen about these sorts of things. Not much to his dad anymore. That's old, after all. <laughs> He's already accomplished so much. Yeah. He's forgot what it's like. It's true. It's been also, many there years. There are not really many young women around here. No. It's really not a not a great place to. Oh. You're a very the young man. A lyrical sigh, say, uh, well, an eventful evening. Uh, shall see how. He snorts slightly as he eats his food. <laughs> we'll see how the. I, uh. I had hoping that. Oh, hope that. Perhaps a day would bring more than three letters. Could be counted as eventful. Lark smirks and says, well, it's a vent for around here. He nods to that. Yeah. He has, uh, both, both Lena's and, and, uh, I like her, of course, know this, uh, probably everyone at this point, that his young man is, uh, he's ready to fly from the nest to his mind. Mm. Yeah. He, uh, he's tired of staying home, living with his parents, parents. and his family, and, and not really be able to express himself as he wished to. Mm. For them, he will always be a young boy, not a man. At least that's what he thinks. Wow. And he's bored. <laughs> well, he should be. He's, uh, he's squiring age. Perhaps Eller can see some of himself in there. Probably. I will smile. So, perhaps I'll talk to uh, to Sir Ashra. See if we can, if he knows anybody, get you sent off to High Garden. Get you a pretty girl, maybe. Every nods and blushes slightly, but says nothing. In the barracks. Nimas is eating as uh, as uh, Lord Lord Desm comes in the uh, barrack door, <laughs> probably probably stealing whatever sort of unsuitable joke was being told or 
or, or a bit too much ale being drunk. It's a, it's quiet. Who would even dare attack a castle here? 